Today we're going to look at how to output a NEMA string from our TKO GNSS receiver by Champion Instruments. To do this, we're going to use the TKO NEMA output.pdf document and the V30 NEMA data manager software. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to select our COM port to connect our computer to our TKO receiver. Now it's very important that we connect using the serial cable that's provided and not the USB cable. If you do not have a serial port on your computer, you will need to use an authorized USB to serial port adapter and make sure you pick the right COM port. In my case, it's COM1. The baud rate on the TKO receiver is always 19.2. Our frequency represents the frequency we're going to output the NEMA string at. And you can see with the TKO receiver, we have a lot of standard options here. So we're going to choose 50 hertz for this example. We're then going to select our NEMA data type. We're going to choose GGA. GSA, GSV, and GLL for this example. Now you may have to refer to the user guide of whatever device you're taking the data in to determine what data string types you need here. All of these have different articles or different parts of the GPS information sent over them. So it's very important that you know which ones you need. According to our instruction guide, the next thing we need to do is go ahead and open the communication port between our receiver and our computer. So I'm going to click the open button to do that. Now once I've done that, according to the instructions we have here, we're going to press generate command. Now what this does is it creates a binary command that is being sent to the receiver in order to tell it to start streaming the data. So when I hit send command here, we should see a box saying success, and then we're going to see data streaming like crazy across our screen. So we've seen according to step three here, the success box after hitting the send command comment. Now, if we want to go ahead and stop that command, we hit our close button. But know that right now, out port one, we are transmitting the NEMA data. So at this point, if you had another device you were trying to communicate with, you could hook the serial cable up to it and the data would be flowing into it. For this example, we're going to go ahead and hit close here because what I'm really interested in is this binary command. So I'm going to grab that binary command and I'm going to highlight it all and I'm going to copy it. I'm then going to take that command and I'm going to open up Notepad <clears throat> and I'm going to paste the data in the Notepad. When I've done that, I'm going to save this and in this case, we'll save it to our desktop. And we'll just call it NMEA for NEMA and save it. Let's go ahead and close that window down. Now, what I want to do in keeping with my command, and the reason I'm saving this to a file, is I can now open up Carlson um, serve CE, and I can transfer this text file to my data collector. Once it's in my text data collector, and I open up a job, I can then go ahead into that job. And if I go under my equipment tab into GPS Rover, I can go to my receiver tab, go to advanced. And right here, we have an, an option in Carlson that many people don't use, but it's called send file after config. I can grab my NEMA file that I want to put in here. So I've transferred my little NEMA text file here. And so when I click my checkbox now, what's going to happen is Carlson's going to send the command lines, those binary commands that we saw here are going to be sent to my receiver and my receiver will automatically start streaming out the data of port one. So if I don't want to send it, I just uncheck that and then I go ahead and check through my normal GPS rover setup. But to send it, I click that and the string goes out. This is a very useful way of turning on and off the NEMA commands and your TKO GNSS receiver. Well, I hope that helps, and if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at any time.